Hey now, friends, it's your girl T, and today marks the end of week five of the September Shred Challenge. We're doing it, you guys. We're in the home stretch. We've got one more week officially, and then we do have the victory lap for those of you who are interested or maybe just started the challenge late and want a little bit more time. So I'll talk about that a little bit more next week in our kind of wrap up. But the mini challenge for week five was to prepare all of your own meals if you don't already. And then I did give you guys a one one meal pass if you got caught up and really just didn't have time to prepare your own meals for one of your meals throughout the week or you just need to grab something quickly. But for the most part, I'm a big believer in knowing what's going into your food and being in charge of that, making a huge difference in your success when it comes to getting healthy and possibly losing weight if that is your aim. To continue that trend of being in charge of preparing our own meals, because I know I'm very on and off with it, I'm very all or nothing in general, but I don't want to be that way. I want to be consistent and I want to have continued success instead of this going up and down over and over as I tend to do. A big part of maintaining my success and continuing my weight loss is going to be continuing my meal prepping. So today I wanted to share a few kitchen gadgets and tools that have made my meal prepping life so much easier than it would have been otherwise. These are in no particular order other than the order that I am picking them up while they're next to me. So the first item is this. This is my mandolin slicer. I've had this for a very, very long time. This particular one is by some German company, Borner. It's got an umlaut over the O. And this just makes it really easy and quick to slice uh, vegetables and produce pretty uniformly. My knife skills are trash, so it's really great to be able to just slice tomatoes or onions or whatever really quickly because it's got a thin side and a thick side and you basically just flip over this piece an insert depending on how thick you want it. And then it also has other inserts to dice and chop things, but I don't really use those as much as just the slicing mechanism. This one is fine, but there are so many different companies that make mandolin slicers. I just think they're really, really handy. For me, the worst part of meal prep probably is the mise en place. Just all the chopping and slicing and dicing and mincing, I really detest it. So this has been a clutch item for me since I bought it. I bought it so long ago, I don't know if this particular one is still available and it really doesn't matter. Any company that makes a mandolin slicer will probably be a fine one if you decide to check it out. I've seen mandolin slicers at Target, restaurant supply stores, I'm sure Bed Bath & Beyond would have them. And then of course, Amazon. Next up is another thing that helps me with the mise en place and that is this chopper doohickey where basically it's got this top and if you can see here, it's got this grid and this actually pops out like such as, and then there's another one that you can put in that's a little bit smaller. But this is great for making chopping go so much faster because if you've got onions or something and you need them chopped, I love onions, but I hate preparing onions because I guess I'm just extra sensitive to whatever it is in onions that makes you cry. So it's, it's legit painful for me chopping up onions. But with this, I can basically do just some rough thick slices or even do some rough thick slices on my mandolin slicer, put the rings here and then and then it just chops them all for me. Thanks to this thing, I can make that Persian salad I told you guys about in the end of week three check-in, I believe it was. It's just one of the salads that I rely on as an easy, quick veggie to put with whatever my protein is. I make it like twice a week sometimes because I'll just go through it. But with this thing, I can make a Persian salad in under 10 minutes and have a nice big batch of it ready for me to eat for the next like three or so days. This is also cool because it's got little measurements on the side if you need them. So like one cup up to five cups, just very handy. And again, if your knife skills suck the way mine do, this is really great because it helps you get, again, uniform size chops and um, dices, I guess, with a smaller insert. You can't always use one of those chopper doohickeys for everything. Sometimes you do just need to use a plain old fashioned knife. So the next thing I would recommend you have is a knife sharpener. This one I received as a gift, so I'm not exactly sure where it's from. The brand is Renwayne. It's got one side for coarse and one side for fine. The instructions it came with told you how you're supposed to use it. I don't know where those are, I don't remember. But it's still really handy because having a sharp knife is critical in making your chopping and meal prep go easier, especially if you're dealing with like meats and things and you're trying to cut through raw meat. So I really love being able to sharpen my knives really quickly and just make everything go a lot more smoothly for me when I'm chopping, slicing, and dicing. 
Sticking with the chopping, slicing, and dicing train, I would recommend these color-coded cutting boards or something similar to them. Just something kind of thin and lightweight because I have a proper wood heavy-duty cutting board that I love. But it is probably only slightly bigger than this. It's a rectangular shape rather than this sort of like curvy shape. But when I'm cooking all day on Sundays, I don't want to have to be continuously like washing my cutting board over and over because, you know, maybe I don't want to cross contaminate flavors. So I love having these thin little ones that help me to basically have a new surface. I just lay one on top of my big wooden cutting board and then I can work on whatever I need to chop. And then they're lightweight and flexible so I can easily like pour whatever I've chopped into a receptacle, whether it's the pan I'm cooking in or just a piece of Tupperware or something. And then because these particular ones that I have are color coded for different things, like this one's for chicken, it's a little bit blown out because of my window light. One for beef, one for fish, I've got one for vegetables. It's just really handy because then I can keep everything separated. I don't have to worry about getting like raw chicken juice on my vegetables. That would be no bueno. So I really love these. These ones I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. And by the way, I don't know if you guys are aware, but those Bed Bath & Beyond coupons that they send in the mail, 20% off or $5 off a $15 purchase, those never expire. They have expiration dates on them, but those are just sort of their fail safe in case someone tries to abuse the privilege of those coupons never really expiring. So. If you run up to the register with like a stack of 20 coupons, they're probably gonna be like, these are expired. But generally speaking, if you're just getting a couple things, you can use those coupons as much as you want, regardless of what the expiration date is. So get you one of them 20% off coupons and try to get some thin, flexible light cutting boards because these are really, really nice to have. It makes it so much easier when I'm trying to chop a lot of things and different types of things on my meal prep days. The next item is my food scale. I use this thing probably every day. I love it because it gives me precision and it also helps save me some dishes. My apartment doesn't have a dishwasher or more accurately, my apartment has a dishwasher and you're looking at it. So it's really handy to sometimes be able to just put something on here and if I need three ounces of one thing and then four ounces of something else, I can just put everything directly into a bowl or whatever on my food scale and weigh it out rather than having to use measuring cups, which I'll then have to wash later. I legit use this thing every single day, whether it's to help me measure out whatever I need to put in my smoothie in the morning, or if I'm measuring out a portion of meat because I do try to eat more plants and animal protein. So I really do try to stay in that three to four ounces per serving range and no more. I mean, this one's not fancy. It's not even that great. It's uh, by Taylor. It measures in fractions of an ounce and grams, so I love that. And it gets the job done. It was probably the cheapest food scale they had at Bed Bath & Beyond when I went there. You best believe I used one of those expired 20% off coupons when I got it. And it's done pretty much everything I needed to do. And I, I also use it a lot in my hair care. You guys might have seen a few you know, videos I've shown where I'm showing you me making something or mixing something up. I love to be able to, again, weigh out however much conditioner I need right on the scale. If I need to add half an ounce of oil, I don't need to get measuring spoons. I can just pour it directly in, keep an eye on the reading, and not have to wash another dish later. The last thing I recommend is some proper food storage. I prefer glass because I'm paranoid that way. These are just some glass food storage containers with plastic vented lids so that if you're putting something in the microwave, it's got some ventilation there. I never put these in the microwave. What I'll do is if I want to microwave my food, which I also tend to avoid, I prefer to heat in the oven unless it's an emergency. I'll just use this cover with paper towel because plastic in the microwave, I don't care how many times someone tells me this plastic is microwave safe, I don't believe you and I don't want hot plastic on my food that I'm going to be ingesting. These particular containers that I have are also oven safe, which is really, really nice. And then I also have these ones. These ones are completely plastic. Great for just storing things in the fridge. I also will sometimes use these to bring to work if I wanna pack lunches and I just don't wanna deal with the glass ones because those are a little bit heavier. These are far more lightweight because it's completely plastic. Very nice, durable plastic too. It feels like it's a quality plastic, as, as quality as plastic can be. Again, these are technically microwave safe, but if I'm at work and I'm heating up my lunch, I just take it completely out of this, put my shit on a plate and microwave it on the plate. I don't put these in the microwave because again, I'm paranoid like that, but you can if you want to and you don't care. This is BPA free plastic, which is good. And it's it holds one liter per container. But these are great for just storing whatever I'm cooking after I finish my meal prep, whether it's you know a bunch of chicken breasts that I've made, I'll store them in one of these 
or in one of these, pop them in the fridge, and then just portion it out as I'm eating throughout the week. And again, I do like to take these to work to bring my lunches to work just because it's a little bit lighter to carry than the glass. And if you are the type who actually takes the time to pre-portion all of your meals so you can just grab and go throughout the week, these are really great because they're the perfect size for one meal. I don't really do that because I'm lazy and it doesn't really bother me to just have to portion as I go. Both of these types of containers I got in packs of four or so, if I remember correctly, so I will link them in the description box. And that's it. Those are my top six tools and gadgets to make meal prep life so much easier because I am all about that meal prep life nowadays. I hope this was helpful and I hope that you guys really kill it in week six. Every time I go to the gym, I'm thinking about you guys and it's making me stronger. It's helping me squeeze out that one last rep. It's helping me pick up that heavier weight than I did last time. And don't forget, we will have the victory lap following the official conclusion of week six next week. So stay tuned for details on that. I am actually in Chicago for a wedding while you guys are watching this, which makes it extra appropriate that I have on my Chance the Rapper hat. So I was a little bit cheeky and I did pre-film this week's check-in, but I feel like these recommendations are pretty evergreen. So hopefully you guys will look past it. I wish you all the best in week six of the September shred. Let's really get after it in the gym. Let's really make good choices at every opportunity we can throughout the week. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. That's, that's a nappy headed hose there. I'm gonna take that down. <laughs>